United with everyone back bar Chief Chief. It comes from Stokes, it's a poor free kick though from the Irishman, away by Rankin. Now Chief Chi couldn't quite release the ball and he done so, there were three or four United players and already this game is sparky. Dow and it's kicking off off the ball. Van Dyke heavily involved. And already the referee and his assistants are going to have to try and calm things down. It was Brown who slammed into the challenge and Chief G. Callum Butcher involved as well there. Sean Dillon tried to defuse it. Early controversy. It was always going to be a bit feisty today in the tie of the round. A tie I'm sure both these clubs didn't particularly want when the draw was made for it. But there are problems potentially for both teams. It's red! Red for Peyton! Red for Van Dijk! And a sensational moment right at the start of the Scottish Cup quarter-final. Both teams down to ten. Certainly thought it was going to be Callum Butcher who Craig Thompson was going to have to speak to. It's Paul Payton who's been sent off. Oh, here it is. Scott Brown initially went into the challenge on Chief G. Then Butcher got involved and so too did Van Dijk. They're both kicking out there. Nadir Chief G challenged by Scott Brown and then he kicks out at the Celtic skipper's face. And that lit the blue touch paper. And Nadia Chief G takes a mean free kick. Paul Dixon's got a good hit on him as well. And Chief G is licking his lips at this. And it's Chief G! Very unlucky. I think everyone's waiting for this to go into one of the top corners. He's tried to roll it into the bottom there. An ambitious effort against the goalkeeper of the class of Craig Gordon. Makes back to the edge of the area for Butcher! Oh, it's off the post from Dow! What a chance that was! Well, McGowan's ball came in, there's a little push there on Chief G as well, and as you can see, Beaton has played down onside. And Dundee United at a width of the right-hand post of going in front. Here comes Johansson. Johansson has squeezed it through for Stokes! Oh, he's hit the post now! What an incredible 60 seconds of football here at Tannadice! Oh, Johansson managed to sneak away from McGowan. There was a foul there. And Anthony Stokes looked odds on to give Celtic the lead. But just as Dow was denied a moment ago, Stokes is too. That's Rankin. He's popped it through for Dow. Dow will chase. No flag here. Dow, though, can only touch it back to Craig Gordon. He eventually panic stricken. Gets it away, he's under pressure from both Dow and Chief Chief. This is Aidan Connolly, dancing into the box, and still he has, he goes down, and Dundee United have a penalty! Right at the end of the first half! There is another chapter to be written in an extraordinary opening 45 here. Stokes fouls Connolly. A huge moment here in these two club seasons. Stokes continues to protest, but Craig Thompson made his mind up immediately. And now Craig Gordon has to face a Nadir Chief Chief penalty kick. He gave Dundee United the lead in the league game here at Tannadice before Christmas. He has a chance to do so right in front of the shed. It is Chief Chief. It is 1-0, and it is a wonderful spot kick by the Turk. The terrors are terrorising the favourites again. They lead this quarter-final tie with the last kick of the first half. Scott Brown can't believe the penalty was given. 
He feels Connolly's made the most of it. Chief G made the most of the kick itself. Right into the corner. It was always going to take a good penalty to beat Craig Gordon. But this is what the Celtic players continue to talk about. Aidan Connolly went down. Anthony Stokes barely made contact. Johansson. Chased by Butcher. Still low step on Johansson. Stokes has to check. Has it now. Very tight angle this. Surely it's 1 1. Blocked by Dixon. Forreston sends it wide. Oh, it's a red card. It was handball. And Celtic have a spot kick. Well, this is an astonishing game made all the more so. A deliberate handball by Paul Dixon. The Celtic player spotted it. The referee has sent off the Dundee United player. And the hosts are down to nine. Paul Dixon is now off the park. And Lee Griffiths is charged with the task of hauling Celtic level. Oh, brilliant save, Chesniak. Brilliant goalkeeping. The United lead stays. Well, Lee Griffiths giving a good battering there. But Radislav Czerzniak threw himself to his left. This is James Forrest. Good run by him. Slips it through for Stokes. Decent first touch. Good save, Czerzniak. He's a giddy back in. There's too much on it. It's a goal kick. You suspect Radislav Czerzniak is going to have one of his busiest half hours of the season so far in the next 30 minutes. Another good save. Still the plot. Celtic trying to get themselves back on level terms at one end and having to defend against the nine men at the other. But here comes Forrest. Too high for Griffiths. Izegiri pinches it back off Chief Chi. Can't find anyone. Heading towards the final quarter. It's Forrest, it's Johansson, it's Gadetti! And it's Chesniak again. What an afternoon he's having. Forrest, Gadetti. Brown, he goes down. Free kick. Another crucial save, critical, this time from the Swede Gadetti. A lovely ball in by Forrest, and the touch was excellent as well into the path of Gadetti. Eton and Johansson. Oh, it's come through for Griffiths! There it is! There it is! It's the level at last! Finally, the pressure pays off! Well, this was a lovely ball in as well. Tremendous delivery. He's onside, bang on, and it's an excellent header from Griffiths. And it's one that levels the tie at Tannerice. And the pendulum has swung dramatically now in favour of the favourites. Here's Izagiri to Johansson. Options left and right, Gadetti left, Stjepovic right, so too near Beaton, Beaton to Gadetti! Czerzniak has the ball, he has it. Well, it looked like Gadetti was in here. Nice pull back by Beaton, Gadetti though had to try and control. Near Beaton, across to the Swede, it just got away from him. Fisher picks up and finds Ambrose. Izagiri. Half of the injury time has been played. Two and a half left. Brown. Fisher. Johansson, through it comes for Stepovic. Poked away by McGowan, and a flag goes up on the far side. Well, the Serbian thought he was in there. Slipped through to Stepovic. And Shevovic, as you can see, offside by the time he came off Fisher.